Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. He takes on a fella, and the guy's 6'3", 250 pounds. The guy's huge. The guy starts tornado him around, but look at how Demetrius keeps his weight really low. Big move there, big move by a big guy. Single leg, runs the pipe, runs the double leg, beautiful. And that could have been the decider of the match right there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna react to Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, one of the MMA goats. He really steps up and he signs up for the Pan Am's Gi Jiu Jitsu tournament at the brown belt level. Not only does he does do his own weight class, but he signs up for the absolute division and the absolute division means no weight classes. He takes on a fella named Michael Santa Medina and the guy's 6'3", 250 pounds. The guy's huge. So let's take a peek at this match and see how and if Mighty Mouse gets it done. Let's check it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by Riz Pharma. Riz Pharma is dedicated to making prescription medications affordable for everyone, particularly targeting the uninsured and the underinsured populations. Their program aims to alleviate the financial burden of medical costs by offering over 800 plus generic medications for free at very low costs, utilizing strategic partnerships and bulk buying power. How it works, the process to access these benefits is straightforward, involving searching for their lists of medications, consulting with pharmacy coaches, transferring prescriptions and receiving medications delivered directly to your home for free this ease of access is significant advantage for users by offering the most prescribed drugs in america for free riz pharma aims to significantly lower health care costs for individuals their focus on generic medications which are as effective as brand name drugs but at a fraction of the cost is a strategic effort to control healthcare expenses. John from Riz Pharma, he's a great dude. He's always looking to help people out. Riz Pharma, if you're dealing with that kind of stuff, check him out. RizPharma.com and uh, enjoy the video. Here we go. Is this big guy is trying to track him down. Demetrius is staying, staying light on his feet, getting his grip, looking for grips. Here. And the guy's huge, but Demetrius clearly, obviously, is going to have a bigger speed advantage. And for his size, I guarantee you Demetrius is very strong for his size. He's been training a professional athlete majority of his life. So his strength is going to be trying to fake the guard pull there. Trying to fake the guard pull, getting the guy to step forward and try to ankle pick. The guy starts tornado him around, but look at how Demetrius keeps his weight really low. Really low. Keeps his base really low. And, and him being an MMA athlete his whole life, you know his balance is going to be really good. Looking for grips here, so they bring him back to the center. Remember, 6'3", 250 versus 5'3", 140. Here we go. Here we go. Looking for grips. Looking for grips. We're at 25 minutes into Mighty Mouse's video. He tries the fake guard pull again. Show the bottom of the foot so the guy steps forward. Then you can ankle pick him when they step forward. The guy's not really biting at it. So he's got a good lapel grip and then a tricep grip. It's surprising. Demetrius pulls guard. Pulls guard. Doesn't really get him off balance and goes back to his feet. Smart decision. When you're outsized this much, you don't really want to be below a guy that big. Okay, here we go. Bring him back to the center, touch him up again. They're on the feet. That was a smart decision by Mighty Mouse. He tried to pull guard, get a sweep real quick. Couldn't get the sweep, pop back to his feet. So now he goes collar to a single leg. Single leg, runs the pipe, runs the double leg. Beautiful. And that could have been the decider of the match right there. This could have been. He hits a beautiful single leg here. Boom. Right hand single leg. Or I mean right hand gets the grip. Left hand single leg. And look at how he runs the pipe. Flares it, runs the pipe, gets him off balance. Runs the double leg, boom. And the guy tries to go with the momentum. So Demetrius finishes his takedown beautifully. But watch how good Demetrius is balances here. Big guys like this are good at going with momentum. And, and, and if you take him down, rolling you through. So Demetrius, look at his balance here. He plants out with his hands. The guy is under his hips. His left forearm's under his hips, and he's really elevated him. And any normal guy, they're going to get tipped here, and they're going to go to their back. But he does not accept the bottom position. And it's so important in jiu-jitsu. 
When you feel off balance, when you're on top, you just don't accept the bottom position. You fight as hard as you can, try to keep your balance. But this is some serious athleticism right here by Mighty Mouse. Keeps his balance, almost like back, back flips, it looks like. Ends up on side control, gets the takedown uh, for two points here. Gets his grips right away, pops up knee on belly. While the guy's, while the guy's taking a little break, that's an explosive movement for that guy, a big dude. So while he's taking a break, Mighty Mouse is already getting his collar grip, pops up knee on belly to get an extra two points. Good side control. Now once you get on top of a guy like this, you do not want to end up on bottom. And, and Demetrius Mighty Mouse, he's athletic enough to stay in side control, pop up knee on belly, walk around north-south, try to force this guy to a turtle position. So since he already popped up and got his knee on belly, He's not going to get knee on belly points again because you have to progress. So you'd have to go to mount first. Mount first, the guy'd have to bridge him again and then get back to side control. Okay, so he's looking to feed a lapel here. The guy's not really looking to frame up. Demetrius has got him in this uh, underhook side control crucifix position here. Pops his knee up. The guy's kind of tired here. You can kind of tell he's tired. So now he goes to his side. Demetrius has a seat belt. Trying to hip in and force the guy to turtle position so he could take the back and get four points here. Pops up knee on a belly again, but you're not going to get those points. You can't just go side control, knee on belly, side control, knee on belly, and you're going to get the points. This bottom guy's kind of just resting here, looking for a spot to explode and get Demetrius Mighty Mouse off balance, but he's not going to get off balance here. Someone as good as Mighty Mouse and as athletic. Good control, knee on belly. I think he forces them out, so he'll force them out here. If he would have stuck that, he'd get four points. He doesn't let the guy up. That's another one right here. This guy has a chance, but I think the guy's pretty tired. So he bumps the guy, or the guy bumps him, almost into a front headlock position. Mighty Mouse stays ahead of him, goes front headlock to the back right away. Look for one single hook. He's got the lapels under both armpits, so he's going to have pretty good control here and stay ahead of him. Now he's trying to bump him off his base here. Get both hooks in this position, you're going to get four points in Jiu-Jitsu. Still staying behind him, just trying to stay ahead of this guy so he makes sure he doesn't wind up underneath. The guy tries for a big roll. Mighty Mouse stays with it and ends up on side control again. So there'll be no points. This bottom guy's doing a mistake here of just kind of reaching over the top and he's just stuck there instead of framing up. Big move there, big move, big Big move by a big guy. So you can tell this big guy does it. Let's see here. He's reaching over the top. He's got his right forearm on the hip. So this is a good explosive position for a, a, a bigger guy. His hands on the hip. He has the belt. Boom. Big explosive movement. But Mighty Mouse is so scrambly. Scrambles to the front headlock. Let's see what happens from here. They both pop up. Go neutral. That guy's real tired. So he goes front headlock. Mighty Mouse spins around again. Gets the collar choke. Dives through. Dives through for this uh, bow and arrow and gets the finish. Boom. Sweet celebration by Mighty Mouse. And uh, really good job. Really good job. I'm excited for Mighty Mouse to compete at Black Belt. I think he's going to do a really good job at Black Belt. I'm sure he'll get his Black Belt shortly after this, hopefully. But one of my one of my favorite guys to watch. He's just a true martial artist. Someone who's really good in the nogi, who's really good in the gi, somebody who's good at striking, good at clinching, good at ground and pound. He's just top to bottom true martial artist. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love y'all.